Welcome back, ladies, gentlemen, and NBs, and thank you for tuning back into St. Andrew TV, a cure for your Monday blues. I am your host, Andrew, and today we are going to do a little bit of a repair job. I personally just picked this up at an antique mall, and it happens to be a 3030 center fire Winchester cartridge belt. But the only problem is, I can't attach it to my waist because there's no belt buckle. The goal for today is to attach this to this belt, and I have a $200 belt for the low, low cost of $20 and a little bit of American ingenuity. So follow me along as I tilt this camera down and we are going to repair this cartridge belt. So now that we're down here, we have our needle and our thread that's ready to rock and roll. Not the most ideal thread for the situation, but I'm going to go over it a couple times to reinforce it. We have our pliers to help us feed the needle through those preset holes. We have our scissors when we get done to chop the thread. Of course, we have this beautiful belt buckle that I also found in Antiques Mall. And of course, we have our belt. It's actually embroidered with you know, Lincoln pennies, Lincoln Memorial pennies. So it's pretty cool. So once this is done, the idea is we have a new cartridge belt for 30-30 rounds. But you can see the preset hole here, and I'm just gonna keep feeding the thread and basically weaving in and out until this is completed. And we're gonna have a finished product that should have cost me 200, but it's only gonna cost me about 10 and labor. And there's the end of my thread right there. I don't know if you can see it too well, but it's right there. We're gonna make sure that that final piece doesn't go all the way through because it looks like with the needle that I am using, this also has to go down vertically. We're working horizontally here, which, you know, it is what it is, but I do not have a leather sewing machine or at least a sewing machine that can get through something like leather so it looks like we're going to have to do the best with what we got which is a common theme here on the channel what i'm doing here is i'm going back over the thread that i already went to reinforce this, this is not the strongest thread on planet Earth, but it certainly is going to serve a purpose. This is really a guessing game because I have to keep it tight so the leather on both sides is, that it's touching each other is really flush. So I kind of just pick the hole that I need to go into on this side and then this is just blind. Hopefully it finds the hole on the corresponding side and it doesn't help that this is black thread and you can't see it really well against the brown leather. So I've completed the top portion, so I'm going to knot it, and the next move is to go down to the bottom and do the exact same thing. This is what we call boring in a traditional sense. If anybody knows what the word boring has derived from, it is when you bore a hole. It's a slow, monotonous process. Hence the word boring being used for situations that are slow and monotonous. There's a little fun fact for everyone. All right, now that I have knotted the top portion, we're just gonna do the exact same thing on the bottom, as I said earlier. This is gonna consist of me doing the exact same thing, except about two inches down on this leather belt. So let's find the first piece that we're gonna send our needle through. 
and we're gonna line it up. This is the first and the most difficult part of the sewing you're about to do to your leather because this is where everything can become unwound. So I've gotten through the first portion where I've gone to my left, your right, and we're now gonna reinforce it to make it uniform with the top half. As I said earlier, you are not going to see every time I feed the thread through these holes because that would be alarmingly annoying for me to do that to you, but I have given you the highlights of what I'm doing today. I think this is a very interesting project. I am new to leather work. I've made tinder bags, but there's not too much to unpack there. So I thought I'd test my hand at repairing a cartridge belt. Before I get too off track, that's all I'm gonna do is I'm going back through the holes that are here and I'm going to reinforce it with some more thread. Like I said, this thread isn't the most high quality, yet it's going to serve a purpose in numbers. You know, ever heard the phrase strength in numbers? That's what we are doing right here. We are gonna reinforce it with just a lot more. You ever heard that song by Run DMC? Uh, it's tricky. That's what I'm experiencing right now. All right, all there is left to do is tidy up my threads here by knotting it a few times. And that should just about wrap things up. I hope. I hope when I put it, put it on, it doesn't fall apart because if that happens, I'm going to cry. I will cry and probably go to bed for the night. There you have it. We have successfully put this belt buckle on this broken belt. Now, all there is to do is tilt this camera up and see if it still fits and probably throw some cartridges in it as well. And here it is. Here is our finished product. A 3030 center fire cartridge belt with these really pretty pennies to embroider the entire piece. And it doesn't fit too shabby. And I also have some 3030 rounds that I can place in our little cartridge loops. So this makes it very beneficial if I'm out target shooting. I don't have to keep going to the Winchester box like this one right here. I can just reach to either which side of me and get a fresh tube for my Winchester Model 94. I appreciate everyone getting this far into the video and watching the total repair of this cartridge belt that I actually found at an antique mall for $20, as well as this really pretty belt buckle of a man leading a string of wagons, what I'm assuming across the Oregon Trail. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed today's video, or leave me a comment stating what you liked, or tell me what I should do next. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed as of late, but for those of you who have come across this video, or this channel, and you like the Old West, maybe you like leather work, or maybe you just like me, because you found me by accident and you think he's just a swell guy. Think about hitting that subscribe button because you're a daisy if you do.